everyone, I'm Michelle Smith and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, then welcome. I'm so happy you found me. I have a Dollar Tree DIY for you today. In today's crafting adventure, I'm going to show you step by step how I made this adorable window box table decor. I found these beautiful farmhouse florals from Dollar Tree and decided to use them with the cathedral wall decor. Let me show you how to make it. For today's craft, you're going to need one of these uh, wood boxes that you can pick up at Dollar Tree. You're also going to need eight of the large craft sticks. And what we want to do is we want to cover up these little holes. So I'm going to lay these down so they look like slats, just like the front and back. And these are pretty easy to cut. You can use um, a good heavy pair of scissors. These are pruning shears that I got at Dollar Tree. These seem to work pretty good. Just cut the round part off. And then you want to just uh, measure. Just double check, make sure it fits. And then you'll need eight pieces that size, four for each side. Now to attach these to my crate or box here, I'm going to be using the uh, super glue, wood glue. You can get this in the hardware department at Dollar Tree. This works very well and it dries rather quickly. So I'm going to start here on the bottom and work my way up because I need to make sure that this is very flat. If any glue comes out, just kind of wipe it off. It'll be movable for a little bit until it starts to set up. You need to make sure that it is flat. For your convenience, in the description box below is a detailed list of all the tools and materials I use to make this farmhouse floral window box. Okay, just make sure they are all lined up and that it will sit flat. Then you'll want to put some weight on that and let that glue set up. Okay, so while our crate sets up, um, you're also going to need one of these cathedral looking um, wall decor pieces that you can get from Dollar Tree. They had these last year, but they have them again this year. This is what it looks like. They have several different colors. It doesn't matter. Um, I try to get a lighter color if you can, uh, but it doesn't matter. You are going to paint it. You can go ahead and remove the little sign on the front. You can save that for another project. And just do your best to remove the bit of hot glue that's there. Okay, I removed as much of the glue as I could. Now um, I'm taking a sand block here. This is plastic and it is very smooth and I want to paint it. So I'm going over it just to kind of rough it up enough so that I know the paint will stick. So just go over it until you can feel that that real smoothness is gone. I have this all nice and sanded so um, paint will stick. Now I want to keep it nice and clean on the back. There's three small little screws I removed so I can remove my back. Put all the little hardware in a cup. And then I'm going to paint this. And when my crate is done, I'm also going to paint that the same color. And I'm going to be using folk art. And this is vintage white. I didn't want something pristine white, which is what this is. Otherwise, I'd just leave it. Um, the florals and things are kind of um, a little off-white, so I need to match that, and that's why I'm going to use this color. 
So any kind of uh, vintage white, off-white, winter white, anything that's a little bit more creamy will work. And this paint says that it is superior coverage and this is a matte finish. Okay, so get a good coat of paint onto your cathedral decor here as well as your crepe, front, sides, and back on the crepe. My pieces are both dry. Now before I attach them together, I want to do some decorating here on my box on the front. And I found this really beautiful rub-on transfer that you can find in the Crafter Square section. I thought it was absolutely beautiful and the perfect blue color. Now before I attach this, I'm going to measure it. And I think if I attach it this way, I have to piece together the front, but I think I'll have enough that I can do the sides as well. And that's what I'm hoping. If you enjoy hauls, crafts, and learning new craft techniques, please consider subscribing to my channel. I do upload new content every week, and if you hit the notification bell when it pops up, you'll be the first to know every time I upload new content. And then I'm just going to use a craft stick. And you just need to take your time and the image will transfer over. You can see the color change as you rub. It will go from looking darker to looking lighter once it has the leaves. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the front here and get my transfer rubbed on and over. I got my rub on transfer on and I had enough to do the front and both the sides. Now I didn't make it all the way to the top especially here, but that's okay because once we get the florals in, you're not going to see that top ridge. So you want, when you're applying it, make sure that you get it all the way to the bottom because this bottom area is what is going to show the most. Now here on my cathedral, I did go ahead and put the back back on so that looks nice and clean. And now we're going to attach this to the back. Now this is a little bit larger than our box, but that's okay. Once we get this filled, you won't notice. Now to attach these together, I'm going to be using a combination of the wood glue and some hot glue. I'm also going to use a large wood uh, craft stick here. So I'm gonna attach the craft stick first. I want to make sure that this is going to lay flat against the back. This will help me make sure that I get that. Okay, as you can see, I still have some glue there. Go in and add a little bit of hot glue on either corner. I got my cathedral decor piece attached. And here you can see I went through and very well secured it with hot glue. I went all the way around. I went here underneath on both sides to make sure that that was not going to move. Now I have some pieces of floral foam I've cut up and stuck inside. This is going to help me to 
hold my florals in place. I pulled out several florals. The main ones that I'm going to use are these that I just recently picked up at Dollar Tree. They are new. They are called the Farmhouse Floral Picks. And I'm going to be doing it in the blue. So I have two of those. And then I also pulled these out. These are called Blocking Balls that I got last fall. They're that beautiful blue. And then I pulled out some lamb's ear. Uh, these, I believe, I got at Walmart. And then a couple other florals that I had in case I wanted to add a little bit of a different color or texture. And I'm going to try to focus with those. If I need to add something else, I'll go with the other. And then to prep these, I just push everything up to the top. And then I just want to leave about a two inch stem, maybe three inch, let's do three inch. I have my florals all prepared and then you just need to go ahead and add them however you like. Just mix up the different textures and colors that you have. If you're on Facebook, please join me in my Facebook crafting group, Michelle Smith Creations. There you can share photos of your own work, ask questions and get advice from myself and fellow crafters. You'll also be able to get a deeper look into my personal life. I also often ask questions and ask for feedback from my group. I also offer sneak peeks to up and coming craft tutorials. I'm also now on Pinterest. If you are interested strictly in craft tutorials only, then that's the best place to follow me is on Pinterest. Michelle Smith Creations CA. And there you go, I'm all done. I'm really happy with the end result. Now I did use two stems of this really pretty new floral that you can find at Dollar Tree. It is their farmhouse floral in blue. I also used one stem of the flocking balls and two small stems of lamb's ear. But I think they go together very well. The color combination is absolutely beautiful and it matches that beautiful blue in the rub-on transfer that we used here on the base. Now if you like, you could also hang this on the wall. This cathedral decor piece also comes with a hanger right here at the top. So if you choose to, you could also hang it. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and show me some love in the comments. This really does help support my channel. And if you know anyone who would like my content, please share it with them. Thanks again for stopping by. It's always a pleasure to see you. I hope everyone is staying happy, healthy, and strong. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.